integrate e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x. Let's try to do this problem solution. So typically when you have a problem like this, um, your first attempt uh, would be to let u be the piece here on the bottom. So is it going to work? Um, I think so. Let's try it. So that's your first attempt. So we'll let u equal e to the x minus e to the negative x. And now we'll compute du, and let's hope it appears uh, in the numerator. So du is the derivative of u, and so now we have to take the derivative of the right-hand side. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and then minus, and the derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside function. Your inside function here is negative x, so its derivative is negative 1. That's the chain rule, right? So it's the derivative of e to the negative x, which is e to the negative x, times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 1. Parentheses, dx. All right, negative and negative is positive, so we get du equals parentheses e to the x plus e to the negative x dx. And this is beautiful. This is precisely what is in the numerator, right? So it works out like magic. So this becomes the integral of du, and the bottom piece is simply u, right? So all of this in red here is our du, and that's what became this entire top piece in red. And uh, the bottom piece is simply u. All right, whenever you have du over u, the formula says that you get the natural log of the absolute value of u plus our arbitrary constant of integration, capital C. And this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value. Now u is simply this, e to the x minus e to the negative x. So this is e to the x minus e to the negative x absolute value, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that, my friends, is the final answer. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.